One of them. I had somebody. I don't even know who's going to be directed at yet. That's what they was calling KD for leaving. He's going there. Man, I ain't worried about that. You got to make you got to make good decisions for your career. You know? No doubt. Can you hear yourself? Yeah, yeah. Dope. Dang. Let me make sure we're recording right. But you young, you like to swing. But you young, you just like to swing. Right. You ever see them knock the niggas? Uh, Bull! Dog! That was crazy. That was the craziest. Oh, boom, that's our topic right there. <laughs> it was some dude named Ray Stone or something, right? Rob Stone. Rob Stone. Always gotta be a Rob doing something crazy. <coughs> All right, action. Right, that's right. It's time for the song and dance. It's your boy Rob Dorsey here with my main nerd, man. Nerd up, J.O. All day, and this is the Beats and Brews podcast, man. Straight and up. We got something cool for you, man, but should we explain again what we do here? Uh, do we have to? I think we should. It's been a minute. Uh-huh. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. So, <clears throat> we take craft beer, mm-hmm. and we compare it to events, artists, uh, songs, or albums, mm-hmm. and hip hop predominantly, but we also transcend and go to other musical genres too. Yeah. Um, also, we also get into life events too, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's a pretty good all around show, and today we have something pretty dope. What is this, Cub? Uh, this is called Who You Callin' Wussy. <laughs> it's Time of Pilsner Got Arrogant by Arrogant Bastard Brewer Company. Um, Oh, they made their own brewing company out of Arrogant Bastard, huh? Yeah. Because they started, Arrogant Bastard was from Stone. And so they made a whole brewing company around that. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. All right. Dope art on the bottle, too. Yeah, it's real hot. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Like a, uh, uh, what is the group I'm thinking? Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. Yeah. Kiss Lewis, right? Yeah, <laughs> Word. yeah. This is cool, though. So, like, well, you know the hot topic in hip hop right now is Triple X Tentacion getting yeah. knocked out on stage. Yeah, man. And um, we got to figure out who the <clears throat> wussy was in that situation. I mean, I think that's very evident if you ask me. Yeah. Was, uh, was it the dude that ran up and then ran, or was it the dude that got knocked out? The dude that ran up and. I, that's how punches, I feel. You know what I'm <laughs> that's how I feel. Yeah. It's a sucker punch, man. Yeah, you don't get no cool points for that. You know? Mm-hmm. There ain't no honor in that. No, nah, not at all. You know what I'm saying? If you got a little issue with somebody, you got to, you know, man to man that thing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Do something that can cause growth out of the situation. Mm-hmm. You know? So, do we got any information on here about the brewery, Cuz? Uh, man, it just says that it's located in Escondido. Oh. San Diego County, California. Okay. Uh... Five point five point eight alcohol by volume. It's a whole pint too. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, one pint. Hey, I feel like we in Britain right now. You can also go to ericandbastard dot com. Mm-hmm. Follow them on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Eric and Bastard. Um, it says drink fresh, numb skull. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Numb skull. Yeah. Hey, that's classic. That's old school. But yeah, no, as you can see. Says who you calling wussy? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's time a pilsner got arrogant. <laughs> and if you don't know, arrogant bastard is a really dope uh, craft beer. It's a high PA, I think. But like that was the first craft beer I had, you know. And the tagline on that thing was "You're not worthy." Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like I had like two of them things one night. They they came at the at that time. They only came in double deuces. Mm-hmm. And so. I had like two of them things and I went to tailgates. I went to the bar mm-hmm. and every every girl that I would walk up to, I would just like look them in the face and I'd be like, you're not worthy. <laughs> and then I walk away. It was crazy. I, I was in creeper mode at that point in my life. It was a while ago. I'm not proud of it, but I'm happy I did it because I could t- <laughs> tell you the story. 
give you that arrogance, huh? <laughs> Word. <laughs> well, you uh, ready to go ahead and crack this thing? Yeah, man. Let's see what it's hitting for, man. Word. Air crack. That was simultaneous, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Let me see. That smells kind of weird, but it smells good. It smells like a... That's like... I really get a lot of Cascade in there. Yeah. Hmm. And it's a Pilsner. Oh. Yeah. Do it take you to like, uh, cause this is a Pilsner, so Kinda. is it like Budweiser or like? To be honest, like it, it's. They got a a first start of. Like it's extremely bitter, but a very smooth finish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we, it's like you about to think it's about to be harsh or something. Right, and then it right. Just immediately mm-hmm. goes to like what you said, like how Budweiser or something might mm. be. Yeah. Considered watery or some shit like that. Yeah, you know I know. What yeah, yeah. It's definitely uh, the smoothness of that, mm-hmm. but a better, better quality mm-hmm. taste. Mm-hmm. Big no bad. doubt. So let's. Are we sipping this thing? Let's get into what happened with Triple X Tentacion. Because I'm not going to say XXX. They so they like everybody says that. I, thought I don't his know. His name is just Extacion or some shit like that. Nah, he said in the interview, he was like, yeah, my name is XXX Tentacion. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. I'm like, you know, I'm not going to do that. You know, right. you can. I leave that up to the to the people who put the effort in, you know, becoming a fan. <laughs> but like, <laughs> uh, so, Triple X. I just watched the second Triple X, by the way. Oh, shit. That was a great action. How many they got right now? This is the third one. Okay. And they got my man Donnie in in this one. You know what I mean? He out there doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Ice Cube made a surprise appearance in this <laughs> at the end. They just came out with that? What? The new Triple X. Or does it? Yeah, the new one. It came out this year. But it's like, it's on the, well, you know, you know how I watch movies. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? But uh, yeah, they got it up right now. I think it's coming out on DVD soon. Okay. But um, all right, boom, back to what happened. So like, he was on stage performing, mm-hmm. and then like, what happened? Dude just ran up on there and snuffed him. You yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> Did he go down? Damn right he went down. <laughs> yeah, he blind Saturday, man. Like, yeah. It's fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Apparently though, uh. Triple X or whatever. Mm-hmm. You do a lot of shit talking. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you stir up a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So I guess you could say it's something that he may have brought on itself. You know? Right. Uh, but he said apparently that the people at the venue and the security guards set him up. Oh, wow. That's what he claims anyway. They yeah. tackled the ball quick, though. They were stomping him out. Yeah, but that could also be, you know, yeah. hey, smoke and mirrors a lot. Off for play, you know? yeah. <laughs> you know True. what I'm saying? But, he was knocked out. He don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's But, yeah, I mean. that was a sucker to, sucker move, though, man. Very true. Very true. Where? If you... So, if I had to say anybody was a wussy in that situation, it would be the sucker puncher. You know what they making me like they making some beautiful memes out of this though like hell yeah you know the internet's a killer man bro did you see the one with the falcon punch from Super Smash Brothers (laughs) 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 oh my god and like you know Super Smash was my joint and Captain Falcon was my favorite player and like that was my go to move Mm -hmm. the falcon punch and like you know what they do like they stop the screen and then they put an arrow on him because he about to charge up and go get it and like they did this in the meme that I saw man and it was just so sad and I was like dog what what did he do to deserve this like what happened <laughs> yeah that's just crazy I don't, know what, I don't know what he did or you know what I mean but hey like I said you never know man where so this thing man I, I like this though like this is hold on is that Orange peel that I'm getting. I, I do taste something in there. Yeah. A fruit, fruit, some type of fruit. See the orange peel or a, or a lemon, maybe even a grapefruit. Definitely some citrusy, something tart. You know. What else can we? Uh... It's really good. Hmm. This is a good summertime beer. Yeah. You definitely. Know? Where, like it's and it's what five nine you said. Five point eight. Oh, 5.8, that's my height. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with that. I'm very content. Um, 
I was five seven and three quarters not too long ago. <laughs> so I grew a little bit. And <laughs> you know, you know, the doctor even had to had the nerve to tell me I was five nine, cause yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't tell me nothing. Right. I'm about to go ahead and try out for the NBA real quick, baby. Mm-hmm. We're the whole inch and a quarter. I take that, baby. Where so, but yeah, like this. This is a this is a good like. It's it, it's not a session style, but it's definitely a beer that you can session with. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Where you can just like kick it all day. Have like a twelve pack of these things, and like you and your homies yeah, just kick it back cool. or drink it. You know, drink on it all day, man. Starting at a reasonable time, you know, like eleven or twelve mm-hmm. or one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the time would be, you know. You know, we living off a of passion right now. You yeah. know what I mean? This right here is a passion. Mm-hmm. We homebrew. That's a passion. Right. You know what I'm saying? We make music. That's a passion. Mm-hmm. And like, so when you live off a of passion, time frames don't really matter. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, anything that that helps uh, intensify or uh, bring 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 a different energy to your passions. Embrace it, you know. Don't don't go off the rails. Don't go. Sorry for that. <laughs> don't go off the rails, but definitely embrace. What could do it? You want to do a little quick break and then and then you know hit it back. It's not blinking or nothing. All right, cool. It's all right. Let's one yeah. in the corner. If the red dot is in the corner, we good. Right? That means it's recording. Yeah. It ain't stop. Right. <laughs> it's usually after like seventeen minutes. All right. I just had to make you sure. know. Now nah, you good. You good. In case you don't know what was going on, J.O. had to check. And, uh, all right. In case you ain't know what was going on, J.O. had to check the camera real quick to make sure it didn't stop recording like it did before on every other episode. Yeah, So, man. you know. Did you see the new logo I made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dope, man. Make sure y'all go to the YouTube page, man, Beats and Brews Podcast. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe man. Word. Spread the word about the nerd, man. Exactly. Subscribe. The like every video comment on every video everything helps it all counts you know what i'm saying because we trying to get this thing legit and you know really make it move you know right so up. yeah let's do it man it's in y'all hands y'all got the power we just present it to you you know yeah, you know so you know give us some comments let us know if you want to see anything different if you want to uh uh, present a beer to us if you want to, you know, anything. Put it in the comments. Give us some questions. Give us some suggestions. Everything. You right. know what I mean? Let us know because we need, we want, we want help. It ain't that we, you know, we need it because nobody telling us anything. Mm-hmm. You know that we're doing wrong, but excuse me. We are in a period of beginning where um, it's always room for growth. Exactly. No. Always. And we are open to that big time. So, bring it on. Yeah, don't matter. Other than that, though, I don't. I don't know. I ain't got too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. For it about hip hop, this beer anyway. Now, if you want to go in the direction of rock and roll, arrogant bastards in hip hop. Yeah. Oh. You know, and we have a conversation. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, of course, to start that off, we had to say Kanye. <laughs> of I knew you was going to say know, Kanye. You know, that's Kanye you know? Yeah, that's my guy, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm happy. I'm happy Kanye tops the list on there because, mm-hmm. you know, number one, you know, he's got to be. He's got to be the most arrogant, you know? Because you know, I would say after that. Who? Uh, I gotta say 50. 50 cent? Yeah. <laughs> 50, 50 you an arrogant bastard, boy. Arrogant motherfucker, boy. Boy, you an arrogant <laughs> bastard for real. Like, you need to be drinking this beer. He don't drink, he don't drink or nothing. Word. Like, but, like, you you should need, you need to drink this arrogant bastard, bastard beer. You know? Um, what's funny is, uh, Kevin Hart, he just did an interview, right? Mm-hmm. And his original, his original, uh, stage name Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Kev the bastard. Kev the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yo, that's funny. I just <laughs> but yo, so yeah, arrogant bastards in hip hop, bro. Uh, you said Kanye fifty. Kanye fifty. Uh, Man, um, shoot. We talk about arrogance, man. Shit, the list goes on, man. 
It does, and I'm just trying to, you know, piece them together. Because I've been like, I've been listening to, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of mellow, mellow, uh, level-headed people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, like, uh, can we go with Joe Button? Arrogant. Yeah, can we do that? Like the 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 stance that he takes. With everything that's going on in hip hop, yeah, like, I, I can say that. Yeah, I, I but yeah. Can we do Joe, that? Joe, Joe has the arrogance about him that. It's like he's yeah, he's definitely an asshole. He's a definitely he's yeah, a, he's an asshole for sure. He yeah. is, a, he's an ass. Like it's more of an ass know, than an arrogant bastard. Yeah, yeah. But you know, he's he's also great at articulating himself too. So he is, man. That's a that's a that's a guy that you know he you, does it. You got to listen to. Yeah, and you know. He, he, he reached on valid points at times, mm-hmm. too. You know what I mean? So, I think that you can mess that in there as being an arrogant bastard. You know what I'm saying? I think that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should say Cam. Cam Ron? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. Cam Ron. I think I'm definitely Cam is in that. <laughs> Cam is definitely in that category, You man. can't come around wearing pink and purple mix and right. not be an arrogant, arrogant bastard. Monster. You know what I mean? You got that. that. The Harlem arrogance, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nicky Barnes out here, like, he in the flesh. <laughs> arrogant bastard, like, shining. Like, he, played, he was Rico, right? Wasn't he Rico in yeah, Painted yeah, Floor? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Arrogant bastard, Word. bro. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> you see, oh, man, who else we got, man? Uh, Yo. Where Did you say Hove is arrogant? I think I think Hove is like Hove has like a He's quiet. He's he got has a, a quiet arrogance. Yeah, like, he's a <laughs> You know what I mean? He got like a you Word, know what like he's got that silent arrogance. Yeah, he's like, got like a silent arrogance. Word, you know what I got mean? Like, I got billionaire friends, but like I can still be around black people sometimes. <laughs> Mostly my wife and my kids, but I that's think, still I think, sometimes. <laughs> I think Hove for like I think Hove demeanor would just even be with, with uh Rub people or the wrong way, yeah. like he could just, he just be. Who got that stature in hip hop where like he might really just be having a regular day, not yeah. even just. Yeah. But the way he carries himself, people will think like it's arrogance or you right, know what I'm saying. Right, or it's just right. like you know what I mean. Yeah. Because it's kind of like a like he's passive. You know oh what yeah, I mean? yeah, very true. You know what I'm saying. Sure. And, uh, Oh, yeah, 17 minutes. Let me go ahead and check this thing. You know, I would also say um, a lot of people may uh, say uh, Wale. Wale? Yeah. Um, but I would say that his passion may come off as arrogance. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. You really. know what I'm saying? But yeah. I know it's a lot of people out there that would say, mm-hmm. that may be in the comments like, well, how could you not say Wale if you say, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think I think Wale is just very passionate. You know what I mean? Yeah, he is. And passion can be uh, confused with arrogance. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your love and, and other when you you know feel unappreciated. Yep. Appreciated uh, may strike people off like you're arrogant when you voicing your know, displeasures with the uh, reception. Yeah, and how things are going. Mm-hmm. And he, you know, he he's been doing the industry thing for so long. You know, he deserves a place. You know, mm-hmm. and um, it it can be with he he definitely should be in the same realm as the people he came into the game with in the double XL uh, mm-hmm. uh, class that he was in. Cause like he, I don't even think he's got a spot around that. You know what I mean? Cause, but he he came in with Kid Cudi, and um, who else was in that double S class? I'm not even sure. Was was that the one Lupe was in too? Yeah, maybe. I think that's the same year. It might be. I feel like Lupe was in it before then. Was he? I think I don't know. No, he wrong. was. Yeah, that was because uh. K. Cuddy's was like 2008 or yeah, Cuddy's was 2008 Lupe I think he was like 2006 or 7 you know but yeah I don't know I don't know 
know, but he 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 he's he's a he's. I think Wale is definitely yeah, arrogant in the good way. You know, mm-hmm. whereas he's, you know, he's like, <clears throat> I know my worth, and you need to. It ain't nothing wrong. With know that. it too, right, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Word versus now, now we can say that about Kanye too. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, because um, but might, there is a more of a like some things like, but I guess this, I guess to say that would be putting the ceiling on, on. On what you, know, you believe, on your yeah, belief. Yeah, your belief, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it is some moments where it's like, come on, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You feel yeah. me? Like, nah, I'm with, I was with you until you just... <laughs> Walk you, Disney? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, damn, man, man. But, like, he... I don't know. I think he... Because he, 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 he does... Uh, he does what I do a lot, especially when I talk to the lady... Like, I draw um, analogies for what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Because voicing what I want to say is just hard to do. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I got to draw a parallel with, you know, um, events or situations or scenarios. Mm-hmm. You know? So, like, he'll draw a parallel with cultural impactors. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? With what he feel he has done, mm-hmm. you know. So like, when it comes to music, he feels like he is the equivalent to what Walt Disney did for animation, or what uh, what uh, who else did he say? He said uh, mm, I forgot, but you know, everybody that he compared himself to, I don't think he's comparing himself to them because of who they were, but because of what they did for whatever field they was in and he's like my contrib- contribution to music and hip hop in general is of that level mm-hmm. and that's how it should be approached you know so like when you had people from other fields of expertise you approach me like that person versus approaching me like I'm just some rapper right you exactly. know what I mean mm-hmm. <laughs> which is completely understandable mm-hmm so who would you give the award to for like just the most arrogant bastard yeah yeah <laughs> I, I feel him. I mean, yeah he's the king man he's the king of I mean you gotta give him that he earned that he said we the rock stars mm-hmm. <laughs> then it's Taylor Swift moments and all that Ooh. you know what I'm saying like I feel like man <laughs> yeah you know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm keep it real though. Like, no, I wasn't worried about Taylor Swift until Kanye took that microphone. From him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he created an opportunity for her to cross over into into the urban world. Yeah, you just know by what I'm that. Saying? You know what I mean? Word. So now, uh, when she does a song like "Shake It Off," which was her biggest hit, or one of the her one of her biggest hits. What the hell is that? Uh, the Shake It Off joint, Taylor Swift. Mm. I'm I'll, I'll let you hear, but it was on like, it was on, uh, it was on Power ninety nine, like it was on Urban Radio. You know what I'm saying? Sure, you ain't talking about, you ain't think about Mariah Carey Shake It Off. No, that's old. That's old. Oh, okay. I'm talking about yeah. Taylor Swift got the song called. <laughs> I'll let sure. you hear it after this. <laughs> but you know, like she got crossover records that I don't think would have been possible without that interaction with Kanye West, mm-hmm. you know? Because I'm sure she had people reaching out to her from his side, like, yo, we so sorry, can we help you do anything? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you want some songwriters? Do you want some producers? Do you want some promotion? Hey, hey, don't forget, uh, got those Puff in there, too. Definitely Puffy. Definitely Puff. Oh, my goodness. Definitely Puff. I did forget about that. I definitely forgot about that. Definitely puff. Word. You know what I mean? Anybody that wears sunglasses and lick their lips in the camera, arrogant bastard. <laughs> That's it. Arrogant bastard. <laughs> Word. Anybody that say, all right, Biggie, that song's good. Let me throw some ad-libs on that motherfucker, mm-hmm. and we're going to make a hit. Arrogant bastard. <laughs> yeah. Definitely arrogant. Word. You know, we love you, though, Puffy. You know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, that's a, that's 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 a, that's an AB move right there, baby. Right. <laughs> AB. Shoot, and it's funny that those are the initials because that's another arrogant bastard. AB. <laughs> yeah. Word. <laughs> Word, man. AB. Yeah. He got a fight coming up too. He do. Yeah, I think he's I think the twenty seventh or something. He's looking more is. focused than what he was before, so... That's what's up. That's what's up. I mean... You got some age on him. That's what it is. You know? <laughs> mm. Word, man. Shit. Well, if you're going to say AB, then... Gotta how say could you Floyd. not say Floyd? How Gotta you, say Floyd. How could you not say Floyd? Word. And if you say Floyd... Muhammad Ali. Gotta say Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I touch you, you can't touch me. <laughs> Fly talker. Word, man, that was the man right there, you know. But um, yeah, he was rapping. He was rapping. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he contributed, or he attributed his his prowess with words to not only poetry but also I think he, it was James Brown. I think. I think. I think he looked up to James Brown. When it comes to that, something I gotta look up. I gotta look up again. But I believe, I think I got an ancestor talking to me right now. <laughs> I Would think you put so. uh, LL in there? I'm gonna tell you why I'm not gonna mention LL Cool J. <laughs> I mean, besides the, uh, you know. <laughs> no, nah, like, um, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I don't. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. he was an arrogant bastard. Hell like, yeah. How? How? What? Because uh, the whole thing that came along with him and cannabis, mm-hmm. he was talking about LL's tattoo, and like he said, "Let me borrow that mic on your arm so I can rip it." Whatever he said, and then uh, LL took it as a he like, "Yo, how dare you mention me in your verse?" Like. <laughs> and then he disses him on his on his verse like LL Cool J totally trashed the verse that he had and made a whole diss verse about cannabis on the song cannabis was featuring him mm-hmm. and then he did another diss like it's it's, it's 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 it was a level of arrogant bastardness mm-hmm. that I have not seen and I we probably will never see it again right you know and he did that again too with somebody else who I forgot who it was. Mm-hmm. He did it with Pac. Yeah. You remember Pac shouted him out on old school. Mm, I didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even know him and Pac had problems. Pac shouted him out on old school and uh he was praising him. He was like, you know, LL was a dude I was listening to when I was coming up. Mm-hmm. And um and LL took it as a disrespect, like, who you call it old? Well, like, who you call it? Old school. Some arrogant shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what? I'm 10 years older than you. Who you call it? Old school. And then, you know what I mean? He put out a track against Pac. I forgot. I don't know what it was called. But, you know, Pac ended up coming up. He coming wasn't back even that him. older than he was. He? I don't think he's. He, I think he might be. Hello? He, he goes to 50. Wasn't. I don't think he was 10 years old. Nah, it ain't 10 years older. Nah. You know what I mean? Because he was what? Seven, he, was, he was 18 when he first came out right. in, the, in the 80s. And, um, yeah, you know, so yeah, he probably, he probably like five, six years older, you know. I was just watching a documentary, you know, the joint that's on Netflix. You ever watched that? Uh, 13th? Nah, um, Evolution of Hip Hop. I didn't watch it. I that's know what dope. you're talking about, though. Go so check that out. Any, mm-hmm. any, uh, uh, the subscribers or people watching, that's more so on the, Interested in the beer side, but can't really relate to some of the hip hop things we talk about. Mm-hmm. Tune into the evolution of hip hop mm-hmm. brings you back all the way back in the day from the beginning, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it was a good education, uh, education uh, documentary for myself too. Mm-hmm. To bring enlightenment on some things I didn't know of, you know, the forefathers like Cool Herc and mm-hmm. you know all the brothers from back in the day. Uh, yeah. But LL was also on there. They had a, uh, a documentary. Well, a part of the uh, episode where it was uh, when he first got signed under... Def Jam? Yeah. I didn't bet and all that. I used to battle. Yeah. All that, you know what I mean? 
Right. I believe uh, I believe it was on there where they was talking about him and Hove battled a couple times. Oh yeah. Yeah, him and Hove. Okay. I want to say surgery, I want to say X too, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I know you know it was a lot of meeting up and battling. Then. Like, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Like, and then whoever yeah. ran out of rats was the. Was, that was the one that lost. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so your freestyle game had to be superb. You know Straight I mean? up, yeah. And you know, if you slip up one time, then it's over. It's a wrap, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, though. That's why DMX can still freestyle to this day. Mm-hmm. You know, even though he can't barely talk like that, he can still freestyle like crazy. Mace. Mace was definitely arrogant. Yeah. Mace was like a smooth, <laughs> smooth criminal arrogant dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Word. Mace had that, he had that, you know, don't don't talk to me unless, you know, you, you talk to Puffy first. <laughs> you make sure he say you can talk to me. <laughs> Mace had that arrogance. Word. Yeah, though, man. It's cool. If y'all guys think of anybody, put it in the comments. Any arrogant bastards, any wussies, you know what I mean? Throw, throw, throw it down in the comments and smash that like button for mm-hmm. us, you know what I mean? And make sure you hit the subscribe because the subscribe is, it's like right here. I think it's in the corner here somewhere. <laughs> and, um, you know, just, you know, show us some love, man. Give us some support and let us know you're here with us. You know what I mean? Because we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And the 17 that we got right now, you know, we appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate everybody Word, that's man. watching. Shout this. out to y'all. Word. Appreciate y'all. Word. So just keep liking it, keep sharing it, keep commenting. Give us more. We need it all. You know what I'm saying? Got more Nerd Up apparel coming through. Oh, yeah. Word. Nerd Up stickers, all that. Yes, sir. Nerd Up beers. They're beers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just a little hint for y'all. Just listen out. You know? Word. Be ready. It's coming real soon, man. Oh, yeah. Website coming soon also. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, so. Yeah. That's where we at. Follow me on... Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Rob Dorsey. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Search uh, at Beats and Bruised, and that's Beats N, like the letter N, Bruised with a Z. And um, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. It'd be cool. All right, up to the nerd up. Thanks for watching.